Hello, everyone. Arlis here. Hey everyone, it's Naj, and we're here with season three, episode six of All American Homecoming. What is your rating for this episode? I'll give it like an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten, eight point Yeah. five out of ten. Yeah, I I give like a good eight or like a eight point five or something like that. I feel like these episodes have been so good. Like Yeah. they're finally like I feel like when like when it, like, episode one of the season, you really felt like Damon was really missing and like he. obviously he was needed for some reason they're, i'm surprised that they're making it work with him not being in here Yeah. and how they're like using everybody's like character like i said last week and how they're like utilizing every character in the show so it was actually intriguing and shocking to actually see nate she continuously having a storyline besides just the president stuff and even though it is kind of following the president stuff it's still advancing with um us finally seeing more about like her her past you know some of her family Yeah. members because we haven't really seen like any of like what happened with um i would like, we have we even ever like saw her family or anything like that No, no we never right seen any like past things. We never seen any flashbacks. no Nothing like, yes yeah. so it's not even it's not even a shocker like i was shocked to even like see her like cousin or whatever Yeah. but um it was that and then like the follow the continuation of like jr and keisha that's so interesting it's interesting to me like bro i'm i'm <laughs> i'm interested and then, and then like obviously with simone and you know the cancer storyline i know that's very i don't like that we have it but we got to make with what's due sadly but yeah no it was a solid episode and at least they're utilizing every character and every character is used and suffer cam cam was not present um Yeah. Nope. this episode so yes um who do you want to start with first <laughs> uh, I feel like we can start with Nate. Nate. okay um honestly what is your opinions about the whole situation because i feel like i understand where nate's coming from com uh, completely because like you obviously made a whole uh, offensive post pertaining to like you know like who i am as a person and even though you didn't understand the significance of it it was it was significant to me because that was during the time where i was transitioning and finding out who i am and then not only do you come here and kind of like acting like it was because oh i'm a kid i didn't know better thing when you were like literally 18 but then to find out later on that you're also contributing to the person that i'm trying to find help for is crazy and then But then I also understand not I don't understand the cousin. It's a, it's a cousin, right? Yeah, the cousin, Yeah. right? I I understand the cousin with the one line of the like you can't expect everything from somebody or you're going to continue to get disappointment. That's the only thing I agree with because I feel like that line made sense as to why Nate was so offensive to Amara a few episodes ago when Amara was, you know, when she got mad at Amara for not being able to effectively, you know, fix things immediately, even though she's now at a higher place than what she was at um, Brinkston. But that I was like, okay, that makes sense because Nate has so much, like, she has so much faith in people to them to do the right thing that she still has this naive like motion of like people will do the right thing when needed to, or things will happen this way if it's destined. And that's not always the case. It's not always going to be like this certain, like everything's black and white. Sometimes it's going to be gray. Like the lady, like the lady says, always going to be going to sometimes be a gray area that she's not going to like. And if you expect everything to be black and white, then you're going to be accepting disappointment very frequently. And I like that that was touched because he should have the, the situation with Amara that happened. This shit situation with um Simone that's happening right now with the cancer stuff, which she, which let's be real, Nate is right because Simone be Yeah, fucking for real same here. here. Let's I got be a lot fucking to for say real. about that one. I got We'll a lot get of to that. that Like, as you know, I can't wait to hear it because man, you might you might be taking away from my mouth because I was like Simone. Um, but like, and then obviously with her cousin, you see that Nate has three incidences back to back where she's like thinking that everything's going to be what she thinks and what she imagines, and that's not always going to be the case. Now. I hope the cousin do do something because let's be honest here, there is hella evidence confirming that that guy you're going to be defending is trash. Hopefully she does something. Hopefully she does. You know, this is a show. Everything is always fairy tales and, and dandelions on all American homecoming universe. So hopefully she does something where she sabotages the case or something. Like I hope <laughs> go ahead and sabotage. Like I think, like I, I just, I don't think. Like I mean, I don't know, but I don't think they're going to try to like. Hey, I mean, maybe they'll have Nate understand her cousin, and then like it'll be fine. And then yeah. if and if and then had to let the case happen naturally. But will we even see the case? Like we didn't even see Probably cases, not. case. No, So nah. we're we're gonna get them walking out the damn courthouse with like either they won or they lost, and and then Nate's gonna be like, even though I don't like what you did, I still. You know, I understand what you said, and I'm gonna be like, no, stick beside what you said. Um, cause yeah, there can be some gray areas, but we don't we don't fuck with the gray area right now. Like your cousin, she's a op. 
Your cousin is up to no good. Your cousin See, I don't here. think I don't look. I look. I get where Nate is coming from, but the her cousin is right though. Like she works for a firm, like a law firm. Probably she really doesn't have a say in what case yeah, isn't she it, takes. Isn't it like. So isn't like it, it's not really like a, it's like it's like something that was assigned to her. So yeah, like, it, it, so you can't really you can, yeah you can't really, like especially I'm guessing she's just now starting out. You can't really say yes. You can't really say no to those. Like you gotta to build up your own, you know, status in you know in that world. You gotta like take whatever case is given to you. You can't mm -hmm. but pick. I get if like it's somebody that, like murdered somebody and all that stuff. You really don't yeah. want to deal with that. Um, but you really can't say now. If she was a big, like, big person and she'd been doing this for 20 years, then you could really blame her because she chose to take the case. She could have easily have passed it and it wouldn't have affected her at all. But I really think that since she's just now starting, it's like whatever whatever your boss tells you to do, you kind of got to, like, suck it up and do it, no matter if you think it's right or wrong. Um, but I think she definitely was wrong when she put that Facebook post up or whatever. No matter the age, it really was wrong. She should have known, like, hey, like, this could affect people. Like, you know, if you think that, keep it to yourself. Like, don't, no, like, you know, like, that's, like, uh, she was really wrong in that situation. I guess she was young, but you got to be smart. Yeah, that's, that. You got to be it smarter than that. Like, yeah, like, yeah like, 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 if we're going to apply the logic of, like, when people get exposed, like the celebrities that get exposed at 18 yeah, for being racist, times. then yeah. we should be able to um, apply yeah. that, same, that same energy to this lady. Because, girl, there's no way. Like, when I was, like, there was, like, a whole, like, honestly, back then... It was so common for people to say like, "Oh, you're like you're gay," or like, or they're like yeah. it's almost like homo, like sexual, like jokes as like a get you thing. Yeah. So I guess they're relating it to like how people acted during that time. But girl, you're 18. Like you're not in middle school. Yeah. You're not in elementary <laughs> school. Like, like no sis. And then you made, and then you found a post relating to this scenario. Like, and then you didn't even delete it, or like because Nate still pulled that shit up. <laughs> like, yeah, girl, that's crazy. There's no way. <laughs> But maybe she pulled, maybe she got like eighty thousand posts on Instagram. Once again, I haven't I haven't used uh my private Instagram in like years. Yeah, like, that maybe been like a good seven years. So like I, I don't know in or anything in like two uh, yeah. years. It's, it's been a while. It's, it's no, it's no. Like Instagram is not even. It's kind of dead. But um, <laughs> yeah, I just think that like in that scenario, she's wrong. And even the case of like the lawyer stuff, like once again, Nate can't dictate how like who who she's assigned to and i feel like law as a lawyer or like even understanding a lawyer point of view you're not always going to get a case that you're satisfied with you're not yeah. always gonna get, you're not going to always get a case that is what you think of or what you actually agree with you're going to find some people that are murderers that yeah. are like people who are um that done worse things in the world and you may have to defend them because they hired you and yeah. you, you can't just say well i have to do this i have to switch my guns because sometimes that's how you'll get out of work and that's just the fucked up part about it yeah um, but I don't know how it's going to work. I kind of hope that she ends up do, do turning a new leaf and her and Nate maybe bond because Nate was so happy to have her back in her life when they were like about to have the dinner thing before Nate yeah. found out that she was an op. But that girl moves so snaky that I don't even know. <laughs> like two two incidences where you're just unserious and you didn't even see the significance of it. Yeah. And then you tried to like use it into like a, well, I get, um, I got you moment because everybody's fucked up. We're not all, we know. Um, yeah. So yeah. Um, we want to do it next between some. I feel like you got a lot to say about Simone, so you want to say for last? <laughs> yeah, we can say it for last. Yeah. Okay. Um, next is uh, Jr. <laughs> Keisha and Gabby. Since Cam is on an internship, I heard, or he's somewhere. Yeah. So Cam, obviously, we just want to say this quick and in and out. Cam has been avoiding Keisha clearly. I love it. About, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's. I mean, let's keep the keep that same energy. Um, you know. Yeah. Uh, and he's been avoiding her. He's been giving her dry messages. It's given how ten minutes the mom messages were at yeah. episode two. Yeah. <laughs> the dry one we're in. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but uh, what is your opinions on it? What is your opinions on uh, Jr. and Keisha? Uh, I I don't know. It's just I I really like Jr. and Gabby. I mean, I really like them. Uh, and I think this episode really made me like them more. So I don't want Keisha. To mess it up, honestly, like I feel like Keisha and Jr. Yo, it could low key be like a sleeper. Yeah, okay, like, it okay, could okay, be okay, amazing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe I like I don't feel it, but like yeah, it, yo, okay. it might hit me. Like they might start to get together, and I might be like, damn, this is the yeah. best shit all American Homecoming's ever made. <laughs> Come on, you giving you giving best shifts to anybody? Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. <laughs> I'm gonna say this right now. I. Thought I was gonna hate this storyline when it, before the show before the show started. I mean, before the season started, and actually, 
I think this is perfectly well done. Um, <laughs> and why is that? It's not just like a love triangle. It's not like it's it's kind of like a thing where we're slowly starting to see one party develop feelings for another person. Yeah. So like this whole like okay, well, before this episode, you could have probably said this Keisha crushing on JR it's, it doesn't make fucking sense. It came out of nowhere and stuff like that. This is not a slow burn because obviously we this is not a slow burn. This yeah. is not a flash burn. This is a friends to lovers potential thing if that is what they're going to go with. They became friends over the one year thing. We obviously can't see it, but we're seeing the effects of it this when the season starts. And at first I was like, bro, what is this weird energy like? We only saw them interact for one episode and it's already heavy, heavy flirtiness. <laughs> um, but these next these last two or three episodes, we were starting to see like why like Keisha is developing feelings for JR. I don't think JR, I mean, I think JR has undertone feelings that he might not know because he is obviously hang he's acting, he's interacting with her as a friend. Like everything that they're doing for each other is a friend, but it is romantic undertones. And you start to see more over the episodes that it's mostly they probably got like a good like mutual attraction. But I feel mm -hmm. like Keisha's um attraction towards him and feelings towards him is probably the higher compared to his right now. Yeah. Because right now, can when like there's moments where like Cam and Keisha somehow it's always a disconnect between them. And like there's always moments where like she may need him to act a certain way and he never acts the way that she wants. But JR always acts the certain way that she wants, to where she always feels like she can tell JR everything, which is why she opens up to JR more than she opens up to Cam. And this episode would have been a crucial moment for her and him, I mean her and Cam to talk and for him to understand her or be there for her or get some insight about her mom. Because in reality, I don't think we ever got confirmed that her mom died from cancer. Like like they we knew said, her mom. Did they they said it in the episode. They said in the episode that yeah 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 her this mom episode died. yeah but what what about season one I know season one she, she I feel died like they probably did but they just said like she died and all that stuff yeah like it was in, never in it was season never one I think they might have because I know her and her dad had a lot of conversations in season one mm -hmm. I can't fully remember though yeah I can't remember if they fully talked about what she died from but I remember her mom obviously dying in the episode and how like yeah. it was the spaghetti situation so I know why it's significant for her. Um, but I, I don't think we ever had an episode where she talked to Cam about this or whatever. I didn't even know JR knew that. I mean, like, I just feel like you really start to see how close her and JR is to where yeah. he was able to clock that this situation with Simone is triggering because one, her mom had cancer, and two, um, they were like, Oh, well, your mom is perfectly okay, and then six months later she died. Yeah. So in this case, this is Keisha having another moment where she's like, oh my God, I could lose somebody that I love. And they're not even treating, they're not treating this cancer situation as they should. They're kind of treating it like this can go away in like one week. And that's not realistic. Uh, so to see like JR be there for her and give her words. And not only was he worrying about Simone, because obviously he's a friend of Simone, but yeah. he's also worrying about Keisha's well-being. He's seeing the right things that Keisha wants to hear. And he's there when Cam is not. They're building up this thing to where it could either be two things. They can end up happening, or she can end up realizing that her and Cam can work, but she, but her, but Jr. probably not going to leave Gabby before her. Like yeah. it could be, it could be one of those two things, and it's so complex. Be crazy. To where, yeah, cool. it's, it can be a complex thing. Both of those things are very interesting, and I, I low key don't know if I really want them like to fully die, like, date because I don't. I mean, I, I, I love Gabby. I, I mean, I don't really care about her get her and Jr. relationship that much. Where I'm like, okay, I'm going to be sad yeah. or not. How I feel about them is how I felt about like Simone and J I mean Simone and Jordan. I was like, I don't really care about it. If it happens, it happens, <laughs> right? Um, so I kind of want to see where it happens, but I wouldn't mind if like it leads to her realizing that she doesn't feel that way about Cam anymore. But JR is like, listen, I I you know, I like you too, but I can't I don't want to leave what I have of Gabby just for a inkling of feelings. Yeah. So it could be either or um, and I wouldn't mind it. Like even like with like with JR, he was literally like Full on dedicated to like trying to get Gabby back because she might yeah. be out of here. Like, look, he, she <laughs> might be the fuck up out of here. And yeah, he's like, he's, he's trying to like, you know, like pull his, pull his game up. And Keisha helps. And he's like, thank you, Keisha. Like, I appreciate you. He's over here with his girl kissing on her. You just see Keisha <laughs> in the back. Just Yo, like, that was so weird. I was like, I was like oh, shoot. Like, that look because like at first i was like oh she probably gone she's going to be on the phone yeah. somewhere and then it zoomed back to her just standing there I'm i was like, like what the hell are you doing? i was like what the fuck i was like oh she really feeling them down yeah, that's what, or maybe that's what she i was just... thinking that's what i was thinking but she looked at her phone i think and then she texts cam or something like that but mm -hmm. i'm like uh, that was like it caught me off guard i was like oh shoot is she feeling like having feelings like she wishes that was her like 
Yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like it may be even more than just like, oh, she's like Jr. I feel like it has a deeper meaning as to like how Jr. is always there for her when Cam isn't. And yeah. it's not, and it's not in a way of like, oh, well, Cam is a bad boyfriend. That's not what we're saying. We're saying that like for some reason, what she wants from Cam, she can never get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the moment, like the moment where like she tried to have that little pinky kiss, whatever, with um Cam and Cam said he's not about that pinky <laughs> kind of shit. Yeah. Um, the, like the dance scenario where he automatically didn't listen to what she wanted. He started to give her options. Um, like there's always been moments where her and Cam never really like understood each other because I just felt like they never really bonded in a fun way. Like automatically when they started dating, they were already like like having benefits. So it was or like they were already like kind of like not together but they weren't friends they were just oh, like yeah. feeling each other so like they automatically went from that to like a relationship they didn't have a friend stage where they got to know each other so i feel like over these two years they're still learning about each other on a romantic um, besides a romantic level and jr he knows her as a friend so yeah. he's giving her something that cam isn't giving her i guess so she probably not like she probably just not like oh shit i got feelings for jr <laughs> like oh my god like i wish i had what they had like i wish i had a man like jr so I don't know. Like, how do you how do you feel about like the Gabby thing? Like, do you think they're like Jr. Like, how do you feel? Like, do you think Jr. Like likes Keisha or whatever? Or who do you think feel each other first? I don't think. I think Jr. May have some feelings for Keisha, but I don't think he's even noticing them. I think he's just really in like I don't want to say love with Gabby, but I think he really just likes her a lot, and really he's weird, just like not even noticing. I think he's just really just into Gabby, and I think at some point. He might realize, uh, yo, I'm kind of feeling Keisha. Like, yo, let's go there. <laughs> like, yeah. But, um, because I'm really worried that Gabby might leave, even though with her job thing, the internship, whatever she got, uh, is in Atlanta. So, she, oh, oh, it's still in the city. It's still in. The, yeah, it's still, still in city, Atlanta. Right? Still, in, it's just she wouldn't be probably on campus as much. Uh, oh, so a that long could, distance, yeah, you know, so all American, you know, look, don't do long distances, <laughs> yeah. You know so, that. uh, it could uh cause some problems and may cause JR to be like, Yo, my girl ain't here, like, I'm, I'm, I'm right, lonely, right. I'm, I'm, I'm about to wild out, about to wild out, about to crash out, get a new girl, him the Keisha yeah, kid, yeah, kids by that. accident, like, because, like, yeah. like, JR, he gets hopeless romantic, I feel so, like. Him dressing like fucking Prince Eric from Little Mermaid. I like that. Just I like flex. that. Yeah, like you, you show, you like he can like he shows that he's not he's like he's not afraid to get into his little like his little like yeah his little like Prince bag. <laughs> but I feel like with Cam, Cam can get into that bag, but he doesn't get into it the way I guess the way that Keisha wants it. To. Yeah, and like he's probably like, damn, I wish my man gave me. I a guess fancy he date. Cam would do it, but it would take a lot of pull from Keisha to like you know to really get him into it. And I think Jr. He would be down for anything, yeah, honestly. Yeah. I think he would just jump. He'd probably be the one to be like, yo, why don't I just do this and all mm -hmm. that? So, yeah. Uh, but I love Cam, though. I love Cam because, but yeah, he, I, just, you know, I, just, I, just, I still I just think Cam's like... come a long way since all of America. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yes. If, <laughs> so, if he would have, if, this, I love if, his he, girl. Would, if he would have <laughs> saw this shit, like an all American girl. I don't know what he's gonna do, but it won't be cute. I know he's probably gonna make an Instagram yeah. post calling somebody a thigh. Like I just yeah. know, he, I know, he, I know he don't care. Like he would have been in his very much. I'm a trash woman bag. I just know yeah. he would. And I would have been like, "All right, you doing too much, bro? No shade." But I just feel like, and and, and the thing is, like, it's trying to like, with Keisha. The situation is kind of fucked up. I'm like, bro, I really can't be mad at her. Can't be mad. I can't be mad at Jr. Either. But then I'm like, Keisha, don't act like you're not a fucking saint because you pissed me off last season with the fucking yelling. Like, that's what gets me. It's like, yeah. she used to yell at Cam so much last season. Last season, that should be like, is like, he a even child? Even this season, even this is, season, yes, I did is. not, like, she She was, like, he's just trying to help her. And she really just taking it for she granted. Said, like, she said, she wants JR. She wants that JR in this. She wants that JR energy. If there's another man on campus that had that same JR finesse, <laughs> she would not, she wouldn't care. I just think that Jr. is giving her what she always imagined a good man would. But I'm not saying, like, it's not that Cam isn't a good man. I just feel like Cam, he, I don't know, he just, he's so hood that he doesn't have, I don't know, like, I don't know. He, like, he, he has, doesn't have he, that he, super he, soft side. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't have that super soft side. side. He's more, so, he's more like, like a, he's more of like a, like, you know, a, a, a guy, guy that just like, tough yeah, guy. tough guy. Just, um, just... And it's rare for you to really get the, like, kind of, like, femininity out of him yeah. without, like, having to, like, talk to him about it. And I feel like I feel like Cam itself probably haven't never had a like a serious relationship this long yeah. to where you could you could be like oh well he understands this like Jr I mean Jr Jr definitely has some experienced <laughs> relationships so he probably knows like what woman wants he clearly has several women friends um and he's not afraid to you know dab into you know understanding women in a more uh, sensual level so like I just feel like 
Cam, you need to talk to somebody <laughs> and get your girl back because you about to lose her. Like honestly, it's not even just that she might lose like he might lose her to JR. It's that she's already he's already losing her like regular wise because there take there is a moment where women not all women but there was a moment when some women will check out a relationship before they actually realize yeah. it yeah and i think she's already checking out before she actually but, I mean, she's worried herself. though right now she's worried yeah she's, she's not, worried he's not he's not texting her and all that stuff she's so. worried now but when she's with jr she's mostly checking out yeah and she puts her like her her like emotions into jr then cam so yeah. Um, I'm excited to the mess because girl Gabby it's is definitely gonna be messy. Insane. It's definitely gonna be messy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we are ruined for it. Let us know in the comments. Dia, Ooh. let's go. You're not even in a little triangle. <laughs> you just made that shit up. <laughs> okay, all right, so lastly, Simone, I'm gonna leave the floor for you. Go ahead. Uh Simone is an idiot. Yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, yo, like look, I get her wanting to uh keep playing tennis. If it was me with basketball, like I'd be I'd be destroyed. But yo, like not just saying she's an idiot, but then you'll do the same thing. Like <laughs> No, I wouldn't do the same thing. I would be super upset. I would be it would be it would be the worst thing ever. But I would like be like, yo, this is not smart. Let me tell my coach. Like what's going on? Let me take the right precautions to make sure my body is good. Cause tennis is gonna be taking a lot of out of her body. Like she already her the coach said her times were down from last time when she mm. did that little test. So like it's gonna get worse and she's gonna have to have surgery. So how is she gonna play that off? Like it's just even Thea was like, yo, this not smart. Thea had to like really lie, which and Thea did not want to lie to her coach. Just so she could make sure that the coach never found out about Simone. So uh, I just think that it's not really smart health wise for Simone. Like I get her not wanting to give up tennis, which she doesn't have to give it up just for the season. She can register and she'll still be eligible to play for two more seasons. So I don't I in the long run. Yeah, the short term, like you're going to have to miss the season. Like a lot of players go through that. They get hurt and all that. So it's like it's nothing new. You just gotta like try and get your body back to 100 after the surgery all that stuff like you trying to play and navigate all this stuff taking these shots and all that like it's gonna catch up to you your body cannot handle all that she gotta do radiation like it, it's there's no way it's gonna um be good for her body and i think coach is definitely gonna find out i think she's gonna have a bunch of struggles and i think it's gonna be bad and I think it's gonna get Thea in trouble too, uh, with the coach, and it's gonna be uh, not good. I like Nate being the only one to tell her, like, "Yo, you're an idiot." Like, fuck a room. Yeah, yeah, like, come on now. Because everybody was against it, and then by the end of the episode, everybody went through some like experience where they're like, "Okay, I understand." Like, even Jr. having the same situation happen to him literally two episodes ago gives him the advice that I mean, gives her the advice that. Gabby dance train give you yeah like why would you give her that and then like I I really do appreciate Lando talking to Simone yes yeah and I also appreciate Lando talking to Nate which we didn't really talk about but like you know it was so that it really so that they're integrating him now to the friend group yeah side tangent but everybody suddenly talking about Shem she she's like superwoman she can handle all this no you cannot and nobody's thinking about the downside though yeah it, look, nobody's like, thinking it could about put it. her in a worse situation like exactly like too many people let's be honest so many people have done some some illegal shit on and it's tennis court and they're still on it like with the with these damn shots that never were brought up again yeah that nobody saw that she automatically back to swinging that shit it was crazy <laughs> and the fact that like Simone is now making everybody a liability like yeah. if, if if they realize like you imagine if the school has another fucking a scandal which they've had a lot of them to yeah. where it's a scandal that's out that's like oh well um the school was making a cancer student play tennis like whoa yeah you imagine what, the, what happened to the coach they yeah. already taking away funding from the school and funding from some of these sports teams. they literally took away baseball i mean yeah baseball and you're playing games you have an extra year you're a junior yeah is she not a junior no, she's well, sophomore or junior. Sophomore she, she, junior. She, well, okay, so hold on. So she's a junior because we didn't get the. Oh yeah, she's a junior. Life. She's a junior, so yeah, she can register so, her junior year and have to have that when she comes back. So she'll still be a junior and she'll be able to play senior year. So she's not losing anything. Yeah, exactly. Like yes, like even though you may only get three years out of the four years of um being a tennis student at I mean tennis yeah on campus, you can even stay an extra year if you want to. 
unless she got financial aid, but it's making like yeah. she's struggling. It's making like she's struggling because she said something about financial aid paying for the cancer stuff. So yeah. that depends financially. But like you have an extra year. I understand if it was like Thea, who's about, who's about to graduate or some shit like that, or anybody else as a senior, you have another two semesters to do this. Yeah. And for her to, you know, for her to be like tennis, it's all, it's either tennis or nothing. Like, what? I and get then, it. Like, I get it. Sports, I get it. sports is important to for every like people that play sports. Nobody wants to lose the sport that they love or anything like that. But you have, you're not losing, you're losing it for a season, mm -hmm. but you're not losing that time. Like, you're going to be able to come back and still be a junior playing. You know, like that's the yeah. thing. I don't know. Yeah, and 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 then it's and then it's just like and then it's her taking on the stress of like her thinking that everything's going to happen in one week. You could reschedule the the um the M. It was called the A appointment. You yeah. Could reschedule appointment, Simone. There's no way that she was like, oh my god, what can I do? Maybe reschedule the appointment. Yeah. You everything's not going to work, and then she and then everything did work miraculously because this show is going to work out. And she's like, oh well, guess what? It's going to start. It's not going to start now. It's going to start in like a couple weeks. So I got enough time to lie and finesse. Simone, you just had a dream, a sad ass dream about like you. Yeah, that was dark. Like, like, yeah, it was a dark ass <laughs> dream in the beginning where you thought that like. The, like you were actually going to have to do chemo, which you, we found out that you don't. Um, and they were able to find it in stage one, like we said. So you have does some of the significant things that a lot of people was sadly wasn't able to avoid. Some people don't yeah. know until it was like stage two or three or worse. And so you had this dream, and you're like, "Oh my god, I want to die! Like I gotta live, I gotta freeze my eggs." Like you're, you're taking on a lot of more stress that's not healthy for you. You're yeah. taking on stress to freeze your eggs, which is a smart choice because you never know how the chemo, which well, you was gonna have chemo, but the radiation, you don't know how it's gonna affect you, and it's better to be safe yeah. than sorry. Um, you're gonna get surgery done. Um, so like once again, better be safe than sorry. But it's like she's doing all of this in this one week as if it's gonna make or break her living situation or her life. And like even her talking about something, she's gonna take double medication, like so she can that's gonna be draining. Look at how it was draining you yeah. in the vision. You had multiple pills on the table. This is not something that you can like take on and what and get on your it's daily not life. something that you want to rush like yeah just like, like let it it's supposed to like let it do its job and let it like let your body your like her body needs to heal like mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah and, that's the and, big thing. And she's not even thinking about school. She's not thinking about tennis. Like, you imagine taking double medication and then going to like a three to four, like taking <laughs> 12 credits a year a month. Yeah. I mean, um, per semester, and then also doing tennis. You're walking around, you're exercising, you're you're doing weights, you're studying, you're having exams to prepare for. You don't have that, you don't have that, like you cannot balance that as somebody who is trying to recover from cancer. Yeah. That is not something that like, like you're not even talking about the school aspect of this. You got to walk around campus. You got to study. You think that oh well. If, so if you're so if you're going to basically seem like you're fine on, on campus to the, to the coach, are you going to act like you're fine in front of the professors? Yeah, I mean, like you like that's something that you you can't do. And I really hope the writers don't try to have this thing where I know they're gonna probably want to do it, but they're probably gonna have this thing where like everything works out in Simone's favor, and everybody that doubted her is wrong because she can take <laughs> double, she can take the double medication, she can do all this, and and it will all work out. She'll be able to lie to the, the coach. Have Thea, who I'm even shocked about. I me, mean, I I appreciate Thea and Simone's friendship. I was yeah. actually shocked that Thea even told. I guess in this case, you're I real, thought she was you're gonna real tell one. You're the, real the one, coach. Yeah, she said I'm gonna be a real one for this significant, but she's already but everybody's already stressed out about it. Everybody's just trying to hold on to some support. <laughs> but I'm like, bro, my nah, I'm damn, not my life. <laughs> like, uh, like, girl, it's only gonna be a matter of time before something happens and all hell breaks loose. And then next episode, you're going to be lying to your aunt. You didn't tell your aunt or your See, mom. That's about what the that's cancer. the thing that made me mad too. She's not gonna tell her mom or her aunt. Like, no, bro, that makes no sense. She's not gonna tell anybody. And I'm just like, you cannot handle this like and then amar and then, and then amar's gonna be like coming around more like maybe like oh my god and you're gonna have to lie yeah oh. um mm. i'm just disappointed in everybody not saying yo simone you're gonna be fine like nobody like everybody like, was just like you okay don't like, need even, to even rush Keisha, besides nate, like Keisha, only nate yeah only nate like even like even though keisha definitely is showing that she's not agreeing with simone's yeah. choice she talked to JR and then ended up being like, okay, what is someone like? I wish that if Keisha would have told Simone how she really felt, I feel like Simone had probably changed her decision faster than her just sitting here talking about something. Okay, everybody supporting me? Oh, okay, man. no, it worry froze. about your oh, it froze. Yeah, it froze. Oh, wow. Well, now we're about to be oh. done at that. I know. Hold on, let me see. Um, 
There we go. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, and then, like, imagine if, like, Keisha actually talked to her and, and then Ke someone would be like, oh, like, you know, I didn't think about that. I'm sorry. Nobody, like, nobody knows that this shit is triggering her besides JR. Like, this yeah. is crazy work. Like, y'all, that's the like, that's the scenes that I did, like, between JR and Keisha. I like that he yeah. can read her and all that stuff, but he, he can read a lot of people. Like, he really got yeah. that, like, read him and Lando really helped a lot of people. I really mm -hmm. like that. And, yeah. um, but. Uh, yeah, and, and, and it, yeah, let them become friends. Let them become friends. Everybody become yeah. friends. Kumbaya. Even the hug, like yeah, we love, we love to see it. Um, <laughs> like there's just no way. Like, like you imagine if um, like Amara or Damon heard this shit. Like, oh, Simone is hiding yeah. her cancer. I was even thinking if Jordan heard it, I would like if we could see Jordan's reaction. Like, I think he would. He would come. I think Jordan would come. I think he he, he cares about Simone still. Not like that, but you know, as a friend. <laughs> You know, I feel like I don't even Spencer, think, I don't even think, Spencer, I, Liv, I don't even think, Layla. I, don't, yeah. I think all of them, they were all Layla, friends. They were all, they were all friends. They're not friends no more, bro. Uh, yeah, they should that's, be friends. That's, that's, that's actually friends. <laughs> that's that's be for real, right? You know, and honestly, I think that's what that's what's confusing me right now. This fucking time jump because we only hit the one year, three months, which is on uh, the beginning of season three. Yeah, but we but we didn't get the ending of season six. I mean, I'm mean, the yeah the yeah the ending of season <laughs> six, which was like an extra an extra like ten month time jump. So like. Yeah, they're on a different timeline, so no. Yeah, I feel like I don't even know if they're really friends. I don't even think Simone will keep contact. They don't even show that they're keeping contact. They don't. But like maybe, maybe, maybe like if she didn't tell her family, she danced her and telling Olivia, uh, yeah, "Hey, sure. I got cancer." <laughs> She's not hitting them up with an email telling them, "Hey, I got cancer." Um, I'm, I'm, we ball like, nah. Yeah. She's not saying that. She wasn't even invited to the wedding. She. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> she that's right crazy. Oh to the that's nuts. Bro, man, they could have yo, I'll tell you, they could have had an iconic uh crossover if they would have had homecoming people yeah. there. That would have been fire. That would have been fire. Only, only Simone. Um, we don't know the, <laughs> it, it may be Cam. I mean, but did they I mean this this the, Spencer, uh, Spencer cool and, they they were okay. They were kind of like okay. okay so, oh, yeah, oh, then he oh he could stay his ass um uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, like Simone, you had me stressed. Next episode, we're gonna be stressed, er, because I'm gonna be like, "What's happening, y'all?" Everybody gonna be like, "Nothing, nothing." Yeah. But episode eight, I'm excited for it. I haven't seen anything. Um, it, it, it's pretty, it's pretty. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be a Christmas episode. So. Oh, okay, okay. Dang. It's like fall la la la. -la, -la. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but um, I'm gonna need uh, my idea mentioned at some point in this next few episodes. Like, I need it. <laughs> You're not getting it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you barely even they're barely even mentioning Damon. I doubt I know they really haven't them. mentioned them. Yeah, that's crazy. They haven't mentioned them at all. It's, it's nuts. Like at the episode two, they were like, What's going on? Yeah. I'm like the other main character y'all have. What? Yeah, y'all only wild. gonna, only gonna care about him when y'all bring him up randomly again. That's crazy word. Right? Yeah. But um justice for Dia, um, <laughs> the Dia Warrior, yeah, you know where it's yeah. at. Um, justice for I don't know what. Um, how do y'all feel about Jared and Keisha? Do y'all think do y'all think that um Keisha she she really feeling them down, or do you think it's more so that Kim was not really giving her the emotional support that she needs? Yeah. Let us know what y'all think about that, and um, do y'all think Gabby's going to be up up and away? Because I think she definitely <laughs> is. I think she's going to be up up and away. I think I think that's the only way that they can get Jr. and Gabe to break up is by oh, having her go up, yeah. up and away. Maybe yeah. she'll be like, "Yeah, I gotta bounce." But... Yeah, like, like, cause like maybe Jr. is not gonna do anything, and then and then Gabe was like, "I gotta go, I gotta go my yeah. own way." Like, like Gabriella from High School Musical. Yes. And um, and then Jr. was like, "Wow, like you're gonna leave us like this?" And she's like, "Yeah, I gotta go." Um, yeah. my career's and then, thriving. And then Jr. gonna be crying. And then Keisha yeah. gonna come. They gonna kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you. <laughs> then Kim gonna walk in. He gonna kill Jr. No way! No way! This is not. <laughs> you being messier than the show. Like what? <laughs> then Kim get arrested for murder. Like what's going on? <laughs> Imagine that. Right, and then and then on the Princeton news, they really shut the cut that university down. <laughs> <laughs> and then they got to defend them, yo. Know, that'd be crazy, yeah. right? Then Nate, they don't pretend to be a president. She's not <laughs> her cousin, though. She's like, yo, listen, yeah, like go ahead and get game out of that. And then got got keys to or something. My bookie, they are. He would never like yeah, come on, bro. Was... that would have been. I would have <laughs> had to really unsubscribe from the show. No shit, I would have been like, oh man, that would be funny. It, that's funny. Oh, you're actually sick. You're actually sick. Nah, that would just be that would just be crazy. He, he said, he said, wow, be I, would, I would be, I would be. He gonna start laughing as soon as they start. As soon as he walked through the door, 
before murder is in, she's cracking up. Talking about wow, this is just crazy. Wow. <laughs> um, but yeah, let us know your opinions on this episode. What did y'all rate in? It's like, what do y'all, what do y'all want to see? Yeah. Um, honestly, I'm just here. I'm just floating with the season. Like, yeah, I don't I'm have, really I don't, just going with the flow. Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really. having like I don't have like high expectations for anything. I feel like when you go into each episode with low expectations, you come out very satisfied, and that's what I've been. I've been getting satisfied <laughs> with the, the last yeah. four, three to four episodes. So, um, let's keep going. Let's go here on the streak, please. Yeah. Don't fuck it up. The, <laughs> I feel like three A's are always strong, and then they get to three B's. Oh, shoot, oh the, yeah. the, um, like three A's are good, or like the half the A part be good, and then they get to like the B part. <clears throat> yeah, and they start losing the plot. Like let's yep. not lose. Let's not lose the plot with these thirteen episodes. Yeah, let's not lose the plot. <sighs> so yeah. Um. Until next time, y'all. Peace. Peace.